Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. Hi, 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 Mr. Aslan, the landlord here for Veggie for Food Therapy. Today is Tuesday, 23rd of uh, July, 2024. And what I've got here are blanched okra with a VMS sauce. So for the VMS sauce, it's very similar to the one I made yesterday. I'll put a link in the video description so that you can see how it's made. The only difference is in addition to the garlic, I've added some um, um, shallots, sliced shallots, uh, two uh, green serrano chili and one red serrano chili and uh, ginger, which I didn't put yesterday. So there's ginger as well. Otherwise, it's roughly the same. And uh, when you're making the VMS sauce, it's okay for you to have a taste of it to see whether it tastes nice for you. Okay, there's no hard and fast rule. If it tastes nice for you, then it's good to go. Okay, what may taste nice for me may not taste nice for you. So you can adjust the amount of vinegar, uh, sweet Japanese sauce, mirin or soy sauce to your own liking. So what I've done is um, I'm actually upstairs in my fifth floor flat where I don't have a kitchen. My kitchen's on the third floor. And sometimes when I'm lazy to go down, uh, I don't do it. The, well, the kitchen downstairs is where my induction cooker is. So I can't do any steaming up here because I've only got a kettle on the fifth floor. So what I've done is I've boiled water and then I've uh, uh, put the, uh, what do you call it? The okra in a sieve in this bowl and then pour the boiling water and let it steep while I cut up the uh, red and green serrano chilies, the garlic and the onions and the um, ginger of course. Okay and uh, once I've cut them up I put them all up in this, I put them all in in this um, mug with the vinegar, soy sauce, water uh, sweet Japanese sauce and everything let it steep okay. So once um, I've cut up everything and I've taken out the okra, drained it of course, I pour the uh, VMS sauce on top and um, usually I eat it straight away but I'm letting it steep for a while while I take this video. Okay so I'm hungry now so I'm going to eat it and I'll give you the verdict a little later. See ya! Blanche okra with VMS sauce Tuesday, the 23rd of July. 2024 Ingredients 12 okra, blanched in boiling water, instead of okra, you can use bok choy, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, kohlrabi or any combination of them that has been steamed for 2 minutes 3 cloves of garlic, smashed. Peeled then finely minced 1 red serrano chili and 2 green serrano chili. Deseeded and cut into 2 cm juliennes 4 slices of ginger, finely minced or grated. VMS, vinegar marin soy, sauce. 20 ml Korean pomegranate vinegar 20 ml Korean grapefruit and strawberry vinegar, you can use Japanese rice vinegar instead of the above. 20 ml Japanese sweet sauce or mirin 40 ml soy sauce 100 ml hot water. In addition, you can also add some scallion, I completely forgot, today. Okay, here's my verdict, it was absolutely delicious. The only thing is, compared to steamed, it was a little cooler, not as hot, it was like warmish. So I prefer it <coughs> steamed actually. <coughs> but the sauce was so nice. Um, you know, it's not so acidic or salty because it's diluted with water. In fact, I used uh, boiling water um, um, to make the sauce, to dilute the uh, vinegar and soy sauce and Japanese sweet sauce. It was delicious. It was so nice that uh, at the end, all the extra, I just slurped it up. And um, just to let you know, with the ginger, you can either grate them or you can uh, slice them and then cut them into juliennes and then cut them into small um, pieces, dice them, mince them. 
and put it together with the um, liquid. And uh, for the chilies, what I did was I cut them into like 2 cm long juliennes rather than smaller pieces like I did yesterday. So they're actually quite nice and easier to pick up with chopsticks because I ate the thing with chopsticks. And um, the ginger makes a big difference, not just um, a little added oomph from the heat, but also it gives a nice flavor, uh, a ginger flavor, which goes, goes very well with the garlic and the chili. And I used three cloves of garlic because, you, you know, yesterday I used two because it was quite a lot of okra. And it was fine, it wasn't too garlicky. And uh, I didn't cut up all the okra, only the, the larger ones. I cut them into two so that it would fit the uh, sieve easier, more easily. And uh, the, uh, the rest I left whole. And don't worry about the mucilage, the lindy or the slime because the acid in the sauce uh, mitigates it from uh, coming out so uh, so you, it doesn't get slimy at all okay so don't worry about that and also the mucilage is actually good for you especially if you're diabetic because it inhibits the uh, breakdown of uh, carbohydrates into glucose so you won't get a sugar spike okay that's it for me today tuesday 23rd of july 2024 see you next time bye Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to show your support. If anything in this video resonated with you, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, leave a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.